All right, so the metaverse is officially the latest buzzword in the tech industry. Um, I think I realized this not only from Facebook now rebranded as Meta, um, their whole kind of connect conversation talking about their vision for the metaverse, um, but really it was actually when Unity acquired Weta in um, one of the promotional videos that they did talking about that acquisition. At the very end, the woman who was speaking, she basically super casually mentioned um, that these tools will help creators build out the metaverse. And then the video just kind of fades to black. Not just for gaming and movies, but the metaverse and beyond. And then that's when I was thinking, all right, things are gonna start getting really weird. So I think it's important for us to kind of talk about this metaverse, you know, what it is a little bit, but more importantly, what it means for us developers. Um, and I do kind of want to talk a little bit about my personal thoughts on the metaverse, because I think there are some things in there that are extremely exciting, as well as other things that are deeply concerning. So I do kind of want to, you know, start this conversation, have this conversation with you all. Um, of course, you know, you can chime in on um, in the comment section below, as well as over on our Discord, you can just get to there by going to tmg.dev slash Discord. Now, if you are a developer who's planning on building out the metaverse, well, you're gonna need some tools and you're gonna need some assets to help you start building that out. And there's no better place to get that than the Unity Asset Store. Of course, wanted to bring this up because their Black Friday sale is coming to an end. They actually expanded it, I think, since the last time I talked about it. So it's up to over 650 assets that are now at 50% off. It does end tomorrow night at midnight. So now is uh, basically your last chance to go in in there, uh, get some of the assets that you need. I know I picked up a bunch of the cool low poly stuff, um, as well as you know some of the Dots assets like Dots Net, as well as the rival character controller are on sale there. So definitely go ahead and don't miss this sale. It's one of the biggest ones of the year and once again thank you to unity for sponsoring this part of today's video so anyways let's get into the main topic of today's video the metaverse so what exactly is the metaverse well i'm not really going to do a deep dive into it right here i think probably a lot of you have heard about this and maybe have some kind of understanding about what it is and maybe you even have your own kind of definition of what it is there are also, you know, a lot of other people online talking about, you know, what the metaverse is going into much more detail on that. Of course, you know, Mark Zuckerberg put on that uh, Facebook Connect presentation where they basically rebranded their company to Meta. And he kind of shared a lot of things about his vision for the metaverse. But something that I did not see being passed around as much, which I thought was way more important and way more informational, was actually John Carmack's talk uh, from the same Facebook Connect presentation. Um, it was him just being like super open and honest about you know the current state of uh, development of, of VR um, and the whole metaverse and everything. And it was a super interesting talk because it's not something that you normally expect out of um, a, you know a keynote from a big company. You know he was mentioning um, all sorts of other different companies and he was being super open and honest about um, not only the problems in the industry but at the at his specific company. And so I'd highly recommend that you go watch that. But anyways, what is kind of the definition? of the metaverse for me. So for me, basically to put it succinctly would be to say that the metaverse is connected worlds. You know, there are, um, you know, maybe all these different kind of, you know, virtual and online worlds that we can have, and they're all going to be, you know, interconnected in, you know, new and interesting ways. Being able to express yourself in, in different ways. And, you know, a lot of this sounds like kind of, you know, pie in the sky, hippie nonsense. And I kind of agree to that to some extent, but I do think it is really interesting and and, you know, obviously with companies like Facebook putting billions and billions of dollars into these initiatives, you know, it's really important that we start paying attention to this as developers because us developers are going to be extremely key to, you know, actually build this stuff out. So now let's talk a little bit about where developers fit into this picture. Now, developers are going to be extremely important to building out the metaverse because, you know, we're going to be needed on many different levels. So if we just kind of start at like the lowest level, we're going to need hardware developers. This is extremely important because ultimately, you know, everything is going to be running on hardware. And we can talk about building all these amazing connected worlds, but ultimately it's all going to be limited by the hardware that we're running it on, whether that be um, physical devices that we already have, maybe like um, phones and tablets and things like that. Of course, VR devices and AR devices are going to be extremely important to this whole, you know, vision of the metaverse. Um, but it goes much more beyond that. I mean, when we're talking about running things in the cloud, you know, the cloud isn't just some mystical thing. It's actually like physical servers inside of data centers. And so we do need to kind of consider, 
you know, being smart about how we build out this software. So it's extremely efficient and we're not just, you know, wasting a bunch of energy and things like that. And then also our network infrastructure is going to be extremely important, you know, if we're doing all this data processing in the cloud um, and we're sending, you know, large amounts of data between people all across the world, it's going to be extremely important for us to invest in some network infrastructure that's going to reduce latency, improve reliability, and really just lead to a better user experience for everybody. And then going beyond the hardware, we're gonna need um, people who are doing this kind of low level architecture, you know, making those um, optimizations um, on that kind of, you know, hardware to software connection level that's really going to optimize things for transporting this data across uh, longer distances and optimizations for processing this data so it um, you know, doesn't use as much resources as it might have previously. And then kind of the next level is we need people, of course, making software and creating these worlds and experiences for people to experience in the metaverse. You know, if this metaverse is going to be this you know, amazing big thing, we're going to need people who are crafting these experiences, giving people a reason to go into the metaverse. So of course we can look at games, you know, making experiences for people to play by themselves or with their friends. Um, also looking at like shared workplaces where people can um, connect and have, you know, meetings and be able to uh, work in collaboration with each other. Um, maybe even have their own kind of workspaces where they can, you know, set up everything how they want it to. And just kind of making these other like, you know, shared experiences, you know, having people be able to go to um, virtual concerts or maybe concerts or sporting events that are happening in the real world. You know, people are actually going to be needing to build out these things. So we're going to need, you know, a lot of developers and artists to actually make that happen and bring that vision to life. But then it even goes further than that. We're going to need people who are basically making tools to make tools for other people to build out the metaverse because you know the metaverse is going to be like an accessible thing that everyone can kind of you know have their own shared part in and they can craft all these things these places and i really think that this idea of the metaverse is going to give life to a whole new generation of content creators you know you look at um, kind of like the early days of youtube when people were making you know the machinimas and they were like um, doing funny things in video games i think you know we're going to see another level of that where people are you know making doing like skits and all sorts of you know wacky things that you could never do in real life inside this idea of the metaverse and you know people are gonna be making their TikTok videos and all kinds of stuff and i think it's really going to bring out this like next generation of creators and there's going to be a lot of people who you know blow up on these metaverse platforms that we'll probably eventually have so with that being said i think there's some really exciting things for us to look forward to when it comes to the metaverse so i do want to talk about you know some of the good things that i see coming from the metaverse so, you know, of course I mentioned that you know, we have connected worlds. So I think this is really going to excel at bringing people together in new and interesting ways. You know, maybe we can, you know, all work together in some, you know, kind of cool environments and, you know, make it really feel much more like we're, you know, all together. I, I think it sounds uh, kind of funny right now, but, you know, maybe we do get to a point where being in some kind of virtual communication space with other people feels much more natural than, you know, just kind of staring at each other in a Zoom window or something like that. Of course, I don't think that's going to replace, you know, real life interaction, you know, real face to face interaction, being able to uh, shake hands with one another. I think that stuff is extremely important. And um, I don't think I don't hope that stuff is ever going to go away. And I do not wish that stuff to ever go away. But I mean, just kind of looking at like the realities of the world right now. And, you know, everyone's kind of, you know, scattered around across the world. Um, and if we can all be all connected in this metaverse, I think that will make things a lot easier for a lot of people. But continuing on some of the positive effects, I think it'd be really interesting to have, you know, kind of your digital workspaces that are, you know, fully customized to your liking basically wherever you go. I mean, you could imagine, you know, you have basically the perfect setup all built out in this VR world and, you know, it didn't cost you, you know, the many thousands of dollars that it would cost to actually get this stuff in real life. And then you can just literally bring that wherever you go with your VR or AR headset and, you know, just be able to work with everything set up as exactly as you would like it to. You know, like what if you're on a business trip and you're in a hotel, you like literally don't even need to bring a laptop with you. You can just bring your VR headset and then you have, you know, everything that you normally would with your fully built out desktop. So I think some of those possibilities are pretty cool. And when you look at, you know, some of these exciting possibilities of the metaverse, you know, I kind of look back to, you know, like the early 2000s and what we thought, you know, the future would look like. 
um, where you can like you know customize your hairstyle and your eye color um, every day or you could you know wear these like t-shirts that have like you know videos playing on them or whatever or maybe the ability to like teleport yourself wherever you want to go you know be anywhere in the world just within an instant these are the things that we thought you know were going to be what we're seeing by 2050 and I think it's really interesting because we actually are going to see some of these things but it's not necessarily the way that we envisioned it you know maybe we envisioned some way where all these things would be existing in our real physical world but you know maybe that's just not possible in our real physical world or maybe even maybe even more accurately it's not practical but it is possible and it is practical inside this idea of the metaverse where we can you know maybe customize our looks and our appearance to our liking. And I think that's going to be really interesting for people, um, you know, expressing themselves however they want to. Again, we'll talk about some of the dangers of this later, but real quickly, I do want to touch on events because I think events are going to be huge inside the metaverse. Um, you know, it's, I think it'd be so cool to just, you know, be able to, you know, walk around at a live sporting event or a concert and and basically just kind of be there from the comfort of your own home. You know, you could be able to interact with fans and I think it'd just be super interesting. And one extremely interesting type of event that I'm excited to see how it's done um, is actually esports. I mean, I'm not necessarily like the biggest esports fan, but you know, I'll watch some popular events every once in a while. But, you know, how cool would it be for you to kind of like almost exist inside the world where the game is being played? You know, maybe you're uh, playing CSGO or something like that. And you can like literally be like running next to, you know, your favorite streamers or whatever. And like, you know, look to the side and you can hear them talking with their teammates and everything like that. You know, what if you could actually be like inside the game of an esports tournament and being able to you know, again, run around, see what the other team is doing. I think that would be such a cool way that you could, you know, interact with this virtual world. And of course, that does take, you know, a lot of development resources and, you know, people to actually build those features in. And of course, there are going to be a number of issues and problems to work through with that. Um, but I do see that as something like so cool and interesting. And so as promised, I do think it would be a good idea to talk a little bit about some of the downsides that I see with the metaverse. Um, of course, there are, you know, a ton of potential downsides um, and things that I am, you know, very concerned about. And I, this is just kind of like a short list of things that I have here. But, um, you know, it's something that we really need to be wary of. Um, especially as developers and we're you know kind of building this stuff out we need to have kind of these things on mind and so the place that i want to start is mental health i think that mental health is going to be you know something extremely important that we need to consider when you know talking about building out the metaverse um, of course us people we kind of naturally compare ourselves to each other and i think that's just going to be you know way exaggerated in this whole idea of the metaverse you know if we're really given the ability to fully customize ourselves and, you know, look however we want, um, you know, we're kind of like going to really compare ourselves with like, you know, the most perfect version of the other people that we see and interact with in the metaverse. And I think that's going to, you know, really take a toll in a negative way on a lot of people. And also with the metaverse, if this becomes, you know, like an actual big thing that, you know, many, many people are using for all different methods of communication, you know, we're going to be kind of existing inside this metaverse for lack of a better way to put it for long long periods of time and you know i think that you know just being so plugged in and so closely connected to all that um is just really not going to be good for our physical selves you know um you know it, of course it'd be super cool for us to experience some uh, virtual hikes or you know again being able to teleport to anywhere in the world and being able to um, you know, experience some cool places inside the virtual world, but it doesn't actually beat going out there. I know it's kind of like a meme, like, you know, go out and touch grass, but it, it doesn't actually, um, you know, compare to getting out there and, and going on an actual hike. I think it's really important for our bodies to, you know, actually move, physically move through these spaces. You know, even if we have some kind of like, you know, treadmill thing that we're walking on, you know, our body isn't like physically moving through space. I know I was uh, recently listening to the Andrew Huberman podcast, really um, interesting podcast, would highly recommend it. But he brought up um, something about, um, you know, kind of these like virtual bikes that we see, you know, like the Pelotons and all that, where they have the whole screen on them and people are basically, you know, they could be, you know, pedaling through a forest or something like that. 
but the thing that they're missing out on is they're not actually physically moving their bodies through space and that's something that's like you know really important for us physiologically to you know experience that um, physical moving through space. So anyways, I think this video has gone on long enough. I kind of just, again, wanted to open up this conversation about the metaverse, um, you know, what it is, you know, why I think it's going to be important for us developers and kind of some of my positive and negative thoughts on it overall. Um, so I do want to just open up the conversation to you all, you know, what kinds of things interest you about the metaverse? What kinds of things do you want to learn more about? your developer do you plan on taking part of any of this development of the metaverse i think um there's just a lot of really cool and interesting things to talk about here and um, i would love to talk to you all more about this so again you can do that down in the comment section below or over on discord or over at tmg.dev discord but i hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one